Frankie Valli, an iconic figure in the music industry, has left an indelible mark on the world of rock and roll, with his unmistakable falsetto vocals and enduring hits. As the lead singer of The Four Seasons and a successful solo artist, Valley's career has spanned decades, making him a household name and a beloved performer worldwide. Beyond the glittering success, his life journey has not been without challenges. Valley has faced personal hardships, including the tragic loss of his daughter, that have tested his resilience. From chart-topping hits to moments of profound loss, his life and career have been a testament to his enduring talent and unwavering dedication. Join Faxverse as we present His Life Was Utterly Tragic, Now Frankie Valley Confesses at 89 Years Old. Early Life Frankie Valli, whose birth name is Francesco Stephen Castelluccio, was born May 3, 1934 in Newark, New Jersey. He was the youngest of three kids in an Italian-American family. He grew up in a working-class neighborhood and from an early age displayed a passion for music. As a child, his interest in singing was nurtured by his mother, who recognized his talent and encouraged him to pursue his passion. He began singing in local talent shows and school performances. During his teen years, he faced some personal challenges, including a brief period of juvenile delinquency. However, his love for music became a positive outlet, steering him away from trouble. In the early 50s, he formed a group called the Variatones with some friends. The group's name later changed to the Four Lovers when they started recording songs. Despite releasing several singles, they struggled to achieve significant success. It wasn't until 1960 when Valley teamed up with Bob Gaudio, Tommy DeVito, and Nick Massey that the legendary band The Four Seasons was formed. The group's unique sound, blending doo-wop and pop, along with Frankie Valley's falsetto vocals, set them apart. Valley's Early Career Frankie's new group was signed to VJ Records and released a few singles that garnered some regional success. But it was their collaboration with Bob Crew, a talented songwriter and producer, that proved to be the turning point in their career. One of their earliest and most significant successes was the 1962 release of Sherry, a song written by Bob Gaudio. Sherry soared to the top of the charts, becoming their first number one hit and catapulting them to stardom. It was followed by a string of chart-topping singles, including Big Girls Don't Cry, Walk Like a Man, and Ragdoll, which solidified the Four Seasons' status as one of the biggest acts of the 60s. Throughout the decade, the Four Seasons enjoyed tremendous success, earning accolades and a string of hits. Their chart-topping success continued with songs like Dawn, Go Away, Ronnie, and Let's Hang Out. Their contributions to the soundtrack of the era made them one of the most influential vocal groups in the history of rock and roll. They also released a string of successful albums, including Sherry and Eleven Others, and Big Girls Don't Cry and Twelve Others. The Four Seasons were known for their energetic and dynamic live performances. Their captivating stage presence and tight harmonies made them a popular act in concert venues across the country. While the lineup of the Four Seasons underwent some changes over the years, with various members coming and going, the group's core remained intact with Frankie Valli as lead singer. Their timeless appeal has resulted in their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990. Solo career and life in the 70s and 80s In the 1970s, Frankie Valli continued to enjoy success with the Four Seasons, and during this period they released a string of hits, including Who Loves You and December 1963, Oh What a Night which became some of their most memorable songs. The disco era of the late 70s saw a resurgence in their popularity, and they adapted their sound to the prevailing musical trends. In 1975, Frankie achieved tremendous success with his solo career when he recorded My Eyes Adored You, a song that became a chart-topping hit. This success continued with other solo singles like Swear Into God and Grease, the title song of the hit musical and film. The 1980s brought new challenges for Valley as the music industry underwent changes, but he continued to tour with the Four Seasons and remained a sought-after live performer. In 1982, Valley scored a massive hit with Frankie Valley The Anthology, a compilation album that included re-recordings of classic Four Seasons hits. During the 80s, Frankie Valley also made some notable appearances on television, including guest roles in popular shows like The Sopranos and Miami Vice. Despite his continued success, the 80s also saw Frankie facing personal struggles. 
including financial challenges and difficulties in his personal life. Frankie and April Kirkwood According to a memoir released by a woman named April Kirkwood, Frankie had a long-standing affair with her over the course of his early career. Her memoir delves into the intimate details of their time together, providing insight into their personal dynamics during that period. Kirkwood recounts her encounters with Frankie and paints a picture of a passionate and tumultuous romance. She describes the romance with the famed singer, sharing the excitement and challenges that came with being involved with a well-known celebrity. Throughout the memoir, Kirkwood offers glimpses into the private life of Frankie and shares personal anecdotes about their relationship. She portrays Valley as a charming and charismatic figure, captivating her with his talent and charisma. Yet she talks about how her youth, she was 16 when she slept with the star for the first time, and naivete led her to believe that she might one day become his wife. But over time, she realized she was just someone he was sleeping with whenever he was in the Midwest, which is where she lived. She recalls in the book how he'd fly her to cities in the region, but never to east or west coast cities. Later, she realized this was likely because he had other women who he saw on the road in those places. And she also talked about how he used her as a sounding board to vent about his frustrations with his girlfriend, who later became his wife. Personal Life and Tragedy Frankie has been married multiple times. His first marriage was to Mary Mandel in 1958, with whom he had two daughters, Francine and Antonia. Unfortunately, that marriage ended in divorce in 1971. In 74, he married Marianne Hannigan, though their marriage ended after eight years. And in 1984, he married Randy Cloacy. They divorced 20 years later, but not before having three sons. But sadly, the divorces were merely a drop in the bucket when it comes to the family tragedies he endured. In 1960, before he was a famous singer, he and Mary Mandel had a daughter, Francine. She was a talented singer who longed to follow in her dad's footsteps as a performer. But she battled with drug and addiction issues and tragically overdosed in 1980 at age 20. Naturally, Richie and everyone else in his family were devastated. In a 2018 interview, Valley said, You would think that as time went by, it would get easier, but it doesn't. You should never lose a child. Horribly, this wasn't the only painful loss he endured that year. Just six months before Francine's death, his stepdaughter Celia had fallen off a fire escape when trying to get into her locked apartment, having forgotten her keys. Celia was Mary's daughter from a previous marriage, but Frankie and Mary had gotten married when Celia was only two, and Frankie had raised her as his own. These tragedies were a brutal blow to Frankie and his family and left a lasting impact on him as he moved forward with his life and career. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about the personal tragedies that Frankie Valley has endured? Let us know in the comments section below.